Yes, these are made in South Korea. We, uh, when we want, went back to the factory, we said, we don't want a, just another sink. We want the best sink on the market. The first thing we did is add a thermal pad, exclusive thermal pad. To the best of my knowledge and belief, there's nobody else has this thermal pad. What that does is it keeps the water in your sink a little uh, warmer, mm -hmm. but when on New Year's Eve, when you fill it full of ice and put your beer in it, it keeps it from condensating, okay? Mm -hmm. Underneath here, instead of those smelly uh, rubber, rubber pads, is a uh, sound technology from the automobile industry. If you ever take off the side panel on your car, Against the door is a uh, foil back rubber pad to keep the sound of the, the road noise off your car. That's what's underneath here. So it, it absorbs about four times the sound of the smelly rubber pads. Did I tell you there were smelly rubber pads? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, then we put a bottom coating, an eco friendly bottom coating on here. Uh, now, when we were doing this, uh, we, we had one of our samples that had a white, white undercoating and it had all these gray scuffs from the shop, from the warehouse, whatever. Uh, it seemed to scuff gray. So Jim said, we want that color gray as the undercoating on the, on the paint so that it's scuff gray so it won't show the scuff so much. I don't know how important that is, but it's... So it's just to make the underside look nicer. Yes. Well, here, well and when you're carrying it in, you don't have all these scuffs on it. Yeah. Right. Looks like it. They don't okay. affect anything. Nobody will ever see them except the customer when you're carrying them in. Gotcha. Okay. That is the new logo. That is a that is, uh, Signet is a swan. So that's our swan logo. Um, that's nice. The factory just put in eight new finishing machines. So the machine will be... Uh, uh, the consistent, not only within the sink, but the next load, the next load, and the load 10 years from now. We've signed a 20 year agreement with the factory, so we don't have to change uh, templates anymore. That's the two minutes on the sink. Any questions? Do you have other sinks? Absolutely. Just a comment on that because some people, like uh, Nancy and Crystal, are familiar with the Eclipse. Just so they understand, A&L used to distribute Eclipse. Mm -hmm. They stopped doing that because they couldn't get the quality that mm -hmm. they wanted. So they're actually having their own sink line manufactured. And these are made in the same factory that the Eclipse 800 series sinks was made in. So that they, they can control the quality better than what we can they control could the quality. Through. And we actually upgraded from the 800 series with the pads and the and the, the finish is actually better. We believe. It is better. So all of you should just go pick up that sink too, because well, on the way up, yeah, you're on the way up, pick up the sink up. that's heavier than that now, sink. Now, we talked about the the individually welded. If you take a Signet stainless 18 <coughs> gauge sink, it will be heavier than most sinks sold on the internet at 16 gauge. No question in my mind, because of the stretching process, and because don't 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 ask me why. 16 gauge Korean steel is heavier than 16 gauge Chinese steel. This is about three quarters of a pound heavier than the uh, Eclipse 600 series sink was. One of the things, one of the things to look for in the lower end sinks, a lot of them are now stamping right on the box. It says certified or uh, uh, rated. rated for a half inch horsepower half horse. garbage disposal, half horse. Well, that what they're saying is don't use the, the big ones because it'll tear the sink apart, especially the big singles like, you know, um, if you put one of these with the, the, the cheaper sinks in there, first of all, it makes a lot of noise. In my own house, I had a drop-in sink and I put a garbage disposal in, and um, uh, I thought, oh my God, this is horrible, the noisy, and it didn't work right. Uh, I changed to a, a 16 gauge sink and all the noise and went away. So if you put it in a, you know, a, a three quarter or a horsepower garbage disposal in some of these cheap sinks, it won't work. Okay. These are all our 16 gauge sinks, okay? Uh, the standard, what you know, the double equal of 60, 40, the uh, 70, 30. We also have all the double sinks in 18 gauge. We don't sell a lot of them, you know, it's about 90% 16 gauge. So if you're looking for a cheaper sink, you'll find a cheaper sink. But these are good sinks, they're just, uh, the, the advantage of the heavier the sink is, the quieter it is, okay? Um, these fit in the same holes as the 16 gauge. You notice we do not have a big, the 3018, we do not have the big single in the 18 gauge because of the, the garbage disposal issue. Um, 
The single bowls are 18 gauge. Those are bar bowls. Now, because they're not as big, they don't get the sound issues that you get with the with 16 gauge, which is why they're all 18 gauge. Thank you.